What's up everybody? Welcome back to video number 8 of the How to Draw series with Mr. D's. What we are going to be doing today is building a landscape out of basic shapes. So we've been learning about the basic shapes and how to draw them, which actually is a little bit more difficult than you might have thought it was. And what you're going to do now is you're going to turn those into a landscape, a picture of like an outside scene. Uh, all the steps are there, just follow along, and this will be a useful thing for you to learn and use into the future. Enjoy! <laughs> Hello everybody, Dave Dees here, coming to you with the next lesson in our How to Draw series that I'm coming out with. 15 years of teaching art, and these are the things that I've learned. If you follow step by step, I bet you're going to learn more about art than you ever thought you would. Uh, we have finished with all the line, and we learned everything that we could about line. We're moving on to shape. As of last lesson, we moved on to shape. We learned about the different types of shape. If you didn't check any of those out, you should go back and check them. I'll link them below. But, if you're ready to move forward, then today we're going to learn about how you use these shapes. How to use these lines to make these shapes, how to use these, line, these shapes to make real pictures. Today I'm going to teach you how to use shapes to make landscape. Something that I do very often in my class. So I'm going to start off, the first thing that I always do for a landscape, is I draw a line. I just start off with a line that is to separate the ground from the sky. I suggest that to anybody. It's called a horizon line. Now you're thinking, what a cheater this guy is. He says we're going to draw it out of shapes. He draws a line to start things up. It's okay. I forgive myself. Uh, I'm going to start off with a little triangle back here. Way down. I assume it works. Yeah. Do another one that doesn't come up quite so high. Coming across. Might be starting to pick up what it is that I'm doing here. Have one that comes in front. Another triangle. Boom. What did I just draw? I just drew some mountains. Drew some mountains, y'all. Now I can draw a shape that gets bigger and bigger as it comes down on the page. We'll learn more about that later. It's perspective. It's going to make it look like it's getting closer to us. If it's coming down on the page, it looks like it's getting closer to us. If it's getting wider, it looks like it's getting closer. But I'm going to draw a shape that is going to be a little bit of a stream running off here, turning into a lake. Start it off here. Goes all the way off the bottom of the page and comes. Look, it gets really far away. Now, another organic shape that I could draw. A sort of simple, sort of symbol drawing that you do. That's. As long as it's a closed space, it's gonna be. Still a shape, right? It just doesn't have a name that makes it an organic shape rather than a geometric shape. Like this is a shape. If we assume that it closes down here, then that's kind of a, a teardrop type of shape. Um, what else could we add back here? We could give ourselves... would have a circle, but it's getting blocked by the overlap. So, give ourselves a little partial circle. Okay, if you can't see the whole thing, being blocked by the things that are in front of it. Now, once I knew where my son was, I would know where the dark parts of the quick shading, just to show people never seen quick shading before, how you do it. Say, hey, which part, this part's the closest to the sun, so it's going to be the lightest. Every other part's going to have just a little bit of shading on it. We'll learn a lot more detail about how to shade later, but right now, the general idea. Everything that we learn, we learn the most basic way first, and we get a little bit more complicated as we go along. See, I'm starting to get some shadows. My mountains are starting to take shape a little bit. Could uh, come in through here and add texture if I wanted to look a little bit more like water. I'm not going to do that for the whole thing because that would take a really long time. But if that's something that's to do, you can do that. I can add some texture into this if I wanted. But really, what did we start with? What did we start with? We started with just shapes, basic shapes, triangle, 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 circle, teardrop. Started with a line, actually, a liar, and I said that I was 
not going to. The last thing that I want to show you is if the sun was coming from over here and it was hitting this side, that away from me side, then the shadow of this would come back this way, wouldn't it? It would kind of just go off the page. Make sure that it connects with the bottom because I've never seen anybody standing and like there's a gap between them and their own shadow. Normally they're connected to the shadow. And you see I have the shadow coming off this way. It would be the same with the mountains if I wanted to draw some big shadows coming down here. Really, what you do as far as detail is up to you. Now, this is what I'm teaching you is how to draw it with shapes. You can draw three or four different ones of these. That's what I would do. Especially if you're somebody that's trying to follow along with this for the purposes of getting into a magnet high school or a magnet middle school. and You're trying to show, hey, I can fill a whole sketchbook. Look at how hard I'm trying to get better at drawing. Three, four, five of these. Make one in the wintertime. Make one in the summertime. Whatever you want to do. Make one really simple with the just the shapes, and then the next one you add more and more details, and then the next one you add even more details and textures and show the way things feel. However you want to do it, you do it. Just make sure you practice it three or four times, and then I'll be back soon with the next video. So I hope everybody enjoys this one. I mean, how could you not? It's me teaching, so one of the greatest people of all time, doing the thing that they're best at. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you're learning a lot. Uh, if you just follow along, I guarantee you're going to get better. Just stick with it and don't quit. Thanks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that made sense to you. Now what you are going to do is your homework is to draw three different landscapes. Move around where the light source is. Move around what kind of scene that it is. Don't make it the exact same landscape over and over again. There's so many different things that you could see when you look outside of the world. Draw a few different ones. If you need to go over to an image search and pick a couple beautiful landscape photos, they're definitely there. People take them all the time. All right, make sure you get your homework done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the last thing that I wanted to say. This is going to be at the end of every video, I do believe. When you are done with your homework, take it on over to the Discord and turn it into the art submissions. We want to see what you're working on. I will pop in from time to time, usually around 4 o'clock in the morning. Don't get weirded out by that. And I will give you feedback on the work that you have done. So make sure that you check the link below so that you can get to our Discord and you can join these submissions and start putting your art out there for people to see, give you feedback, help you get better at. I got a bunch of artists that have already gone through my class that hang out in there, and if you think you're gonna do something funky, you're not, because my mods are gonna get you. You understand what I'm saying? I might be a boomer, but my mods are powerful zoomers. I'm not challenging you though. Please don't mess with my, please, just be nice. Just do the artwork.